Processors, and Lord Savine viewers. This is Ian with Verbal Processing, joined by my esteemed collaborator, Lord Savine. As previously mentioned, Lord Savine, how you doing, buddy? I am doing pretty fantastic overall, but I'm, I'm slowly falling, and I hope... Oh, yep. Oh, hey, oh, hey it worked! <laughs> that water arrester just is uh, doing so peachy there. All right. All right. Well, we're just establishing a little underground base here so that uh, when I inevitably die again, we will uh, we will do so closer to the action. This is Let's true. Let's put that bed back in place, sir. There we go. Yep. It is kind of facing you an odd place. Point? And I've set the spawn point. All right, let's explore. Now let's do this. So, yeah, we made the elevator down a little deeper, and we'll still continue it at some point. But right now, we are more concerned with finding some more equipment, more stuff for the It's sort of world. a shroom evader at the moment. This is true. It was kind of cool to bust out into this giant uh, giant shroom area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a good place to good place to kick back for a while. So I see some iron that I would like to uh, accumulate. A appropriate? Yeah. As appropriate, rather? Appropriate. It's appropriate that you should appropriate that. All right, you do that. And I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go poke around this underwater area over here. Ooh, Ian's gonna drown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Call, calling I, it right now. I'm calling yeah, that shot. Uh, you're, don't don't telegraph the scene, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving away the the secrets. You told me you were a professional. <laughs> All right, what's going on around me? I do like this enchanted boomerang because I'm able to uh, I'm able to throw it around and kind of see what's in the walls around me. This pleases me. Mm. Oh yeah, because it generates light, doesn't it? Yeah, the little sparks like kind of go through the the stone and the dirt and stuff. Ah, revealing better. the secrets hidden below the earth. Would you say that you had to diggy to get those secrets? Diggy, diggy hole. <laughs> diggy hole, diggy hole, diggy diggy. I can't resist ripping off. <laughs> <laughs> This is true. I can't resist ripping off the yard cast occasionally. Lately, it's been on my brain. Oh, like Jesus. <laughs> what? Sorry. I have uh, I just kind of fell a good 200 feet. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and survived? Yeah, and I'm right here next to you, actually. <laughs> and you have survived. I just looted me a chest with like some kind of crazy shock fin potion. I've been really lucky with the air pockets so far. Ooh, I think I'm going to join of, you. That's the occurring air pockets over there. I miss you. You know? Oh, well, come on now. We'll summer in Retfordshire. I need the name of a, I need the name of a, uh, of a English town in my back pocket. My wife is, is kicking her slipper toward me. What's up, honey? We just recorded some episodes for the internet. We got to entertain the internet people. There's a lot of people on the internet. <laughs> According to my YouTube, there's like at least, at least a couple hundred people on the internet. And they, they got to watch stuff. Because I heard TV got nuked. It got nuked by the commies. So the internet needs some entertain things peoples. And my friend Sandy and I is gonna entertain those internets with every ounce of our entertaining bones or boners as the case may be. What's up? Boners more often. <laughs> oh, you just came to say hi. Well, say hello on the microphone. Yes, show everybody how wacky you are. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. My wife is, is she's the anti-wacky. Think every picture picture everything you can about me and then picture the opposite in chick form. Except for about how good looking I am, because she's actually pretty hot. Uh, That's right. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So see, like I I I, I am um, I would be homeless if we weren't married, and I'm 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 functionally unemployed most of the year as I uh, work in the entertainment industry and I'm about to die. <laughs> and uh She's a nuclear astrophysicist and, you know, can pretty much keep her shit together 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, she has a PhD. Uh, what else can we say about her that makes me makes her the opposite? She has this thing, um, yeah, habitual hygienic practices with respect to not stinking. So. And showering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other, oh, well, she's never been in prison that I'm aware of. Uh... She never, she never lived with Gary Busey, you know, to, I, I, I don't tell many people that I was actually the guy that got him off of liquor and onto crack. So, uh, look, I did what I could. Okay. I, I'm not a perfect sponsor. All right. I, the 12 step program should never have, should never have blackmailed me into coming on board, but they said they had pictures and I, I honestly don't know why I was such a hot item for that program, but there you go. I haven't let Lord Savine say anything in the last 25 minutes. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's the episode, ladies and gentlemen. See you next time. <laughs> and uh, in the next episode of Blackbeard's Castle. Now, this... Ian talks some more. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. No, I'm in. I, I came up here because I'm I'm lonely and I I, I want to feel included. Okay. Well, good. <laughs> now I'm, I'm I'm actually terrified of going anywhere alone, as I All travel right, well, away come from. Come down here. Hold my hand. <laughs> Hold me closer, tiny bunny face. I don't trust your underwater place, because I can't see any of it. This could end yeah, up you, bad. You, you don't want to have anything to do with my underwater place, especially if I'm ta if I'm taking a bath. <laughs> Little rubber okay, ducky. I am actually I'm actually drowning now. <laughs> this is. I cannot make this jump. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very silly episode. What is going on here? Oh, oh god. Oh, I totally cheated. <laughs> Ian forgot to breathe. So I, I think you're up to like forty something now. <laughs> let's go for sixty nine, and then let's get to fifty deaths. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. Why don't we just dig <laughs> down, like right here, and just oh, because then you like flood stuff, and I don't know. I don't like the flood stuff. I like the things to be orderly for some god awful reason. <laughs> what? I guess that I works. Can we have multiple nurses? That would be really useful, actually. To when we die, yeah, we get uh, we get her to move. We can actually get her to move in down here if we made another made another location. Yeah, like a table in business. Mm hmm. All right, let's make a little air pocket here so we can get some. Ooh. <gasps> now that we can specify what we want, where we want them to live, mm -hmm. um, as long as it was valid, we could uh, we could have her jump right down. Indeed. Jump right down into our business. Now I will not. Here's here's the thing. I've decided that making 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 uh, snarky sexual comments about the females in Terraria makes no sense because there are no good looking female NPCs in Terraria, and women should be respected, etc. So. I've decided to give them all horrifying personalities instead. And I decided that the nurse, did I tell you my theory on this already? No, you have not. I decided that the nurse is, you remember in the 90s how there were like lots of like ripped from the headlines law and order type stuff about medical professionals that would like bring you to the brink of death so that they could save you? She's one of those chicks, right? When you're not looking, she's gonna she's gonna stick a needle full of Drano in your neck, and she's gonna pump your head full of poison, and then she's gonna be all like, "Oh, doctor, code blue!" And then the doctor couldn't get there in time, but she's gonna resuscitate you, and you're only gonna have a little brain damage when it's all over. So that a you don't remember having your neck pumped full of like that that crystal Drano stuff. By the way, she didn't dilute it or anything. She just she just you know made a a needle so huge that she like you know those boba tea drinks that have the giant tapioca well that's what she used to inject giant crystals of Drano in your neck and now you have permanent crystals of Drano under your skin you have to take drugs to keep the Drano from killing your face and uh, and she's a hero and, and she's she got an hero. award from the president she's okay? the hero looks like so we're... I don't trust her <laughs> you, you, you... that's the terraria nurse for me you... and I don't have issues with my mother thank you very much uh, he doth protest. Ooh, chest. He doth protest too much, in my opinion. Show me as somebody who doesn't have issues with their mother, and I'll show you a son of a bitch that I'll kill. Oh, what do we got? Oh, you got to it first, you bastard. That, not nothing. Ah, oh, my gold, my archery potion. Why? Why did they stack it? Oh no, because that's a hunter potion. Hmm. What do you? That seems interesting. What do you think? Why would the, you need the one? next? Let's let's talk about huge possible changes to Terraria. Let's speculate for a moment, shall we? What how could Terraria ch what would be okay. a game changer for the for you know the Christmas update isn't going to have a game changer but you know what did we get in this one? We got redstone or you know the wet the wiring uh, redstone equivalent in this one and mm -hmm. that that was uh that introduces some interesting possibilities although I'm I, it's hard to say whether it's going to be it's, it's less a game changer and more like a completely new system. What would some Terraria game changers be? Mm. Mobs that Ooh, destroy mobs. Yes, very good idea. That could be scary. I, I would not be a fan of that change unless it you It is interesting how, somehow. like, <laughs> like I like the inconvenience in, in games. Um, I guess my, my personal brand of ADD or OCD or whatever it is, Whatever it is, the popular internet learning disability is these days. But um, I uh, I like being inconvenienced a little bit in a game because then I feel like the world is doing something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so it's kind of a dynamic world with uh, 
reactions. Yeah, if to every your time I log in, you know like what? That. I would. I'm I'm interested to see somebody implement a system by which structures decay, in an interesting and a way that I mean, okay, it doesn't make sense to make things that aren't fun in your game. But I think when a when a mechanic like that doesn't work very well, it's the it's the onus is on the designer to find a way to make it fun. You know. Mhm. Mm I you know, and I like that. your idea of, you know, then you have it behooves you to find a way to make them stop. Or maybe they just tip away at the base. Or maybe it's part of a major event where, you know, big trolls come out and start, you know, like, uh, b you know, battering their way through the sides of your, your structure there. Or, you know, maybe it's about there being build tools that allow you to, um, what if you could make blueprints? Okay, what if you could go to the um the goblin engineer and you could buy a blueprint and then you could use the or you could buy like a a camera or something you could use that to record a structure and then you could just lay that down on the map once you had recorded it like a schematic you know that could be interesting you know and then that would make it a lot easier than trying to kind of guesstimate and all that i know that uh, following following terraria schematics is Especially when you're OCD like myself, that can be a little frustrating, you know? Like, you're like, oh, that's not quite as even as I thought it was going to be. Now I have to change the entire <laughs> Check structure. Check this out. We got underwater mushroom garden. This is pretty sweet. <laughs> Everything's all glowy. It's like cosmic. I, I took a hunter potion. <gasps> there's, a there's, hook, a hook. there's 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 a hook.